Hey everyone, how are you? Hi teacher, good evening. Good evening. How was your day? I have a, a good day. Ah, that's great. What happened today? Uh, today I finished my reporter. I worked hard all week, this, uh, last week. Mm -hmm. last week. Uh, today finally finished. The, re the report my report yeah okay that's good that's good less stress more relax yes so mm -hmm. tomorrow beginning other report <laughs> <laughs> never finish the report huh? okay all right how about the rest of you arturo romulo uh, david bessie how are you I'm fine, thank you. thank you for asking. It was a really good day. <laughs> okay, what happened? Tell us, Arturo. Um, nothing new. Uh, just work and, and watching a movie with my family and now the, the class. Okay, all right, good, good. It's good to spend time with the family, good. Romulo, how about yeah. you? Thank you. Good evening. Uh, it was a busy day. I I was a different meeting during the day. Yeah, very busy. Okay. But that's okay. And and many meetings or just one or two? Uh no, many meetings. <laughs> For uh, <laughs> yes, uh, use the plat platform the soon. <laughs> Ah, okay, okay. It's a, before never use Zoom before the before the pandemic, and now is everybody use Zoom, Meet, uh, Google. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, all right, good. Okay, David, how about you? How are you? So basically, my day was very busy because. Uh, right now, I'm in audit process, so I have to be dealing with the auditors. Mm, and they discover things, and they say, ah, David, here, what happened here? What happened here? <laughs> uh, more or less, more or less. <laughs> yeah, no, and that's the job. That's the job. The auditors always discover something. Never everything is perfect. Always they discover something. Yeah, that, the truth is that we are trying to do our best, but... Sometimes, as you say, I, everything is not perfect. Nah, no, nah, always there. There's something there. Sometimes it's something small, sometimes big. Sometimes only the is not the problem. The problem is only the the documents. The paper went into the wrong category, or it went into the wrong department, and this is the problem. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay, all right, Bessie, how about you? How are you? We can't hear you, Bessie, or I can't hear you. I don't know if the others can hear you. Oh, I'm, I, hear you. I was very inspired telling <laughs> you. <laughs> well, I was telling that my Tuesday was very busy today. I have four meetings and a lot of work. We have some projects that we, we need to, to get better results. So we have to do a lot of things on this, on this month. And right. what, do you, what do you do, Bessie, or where do you work? I, I, I am a public relation, and uh, I work in uh, Agape. Are you here? Yeah, I know Agape. Ah, uh, okay. Is that they have the radio and they have uh, the church, right? They have sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, you disappear again, Bessie. Okay, maybe Bessie is going to have a little bit of technical problems tonight. So that way you know, uh, if you are partners with Bessie, you are prepared. Maybe have a moment where you don't hear her. Okay. All right. Well, 
it's, I'm glad everybody's here and everybody seems to be having a busy life. Oof, a lot of work, a lot of activities. It's late. Only two more days to finish. The... Yes, Bessie. Nope, disappear again, Bessie. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. Sorry, I am here. Okay, my, there you go. My, my internet don't help me. It's okay. It happens. It's, it's part Sorry. of the technical problems. It's okay. It's okay, Vessi. No problem. Well, today we're going to be looking at uh, finishing up our unit. Uh, we are in the final unit, or the final section, which is section five. And yesterday we were looking at past models. Um, today we're going to start off by reviewing them and making sure it's clear when we use them. We specifically focused on two of different past models yesterday. Do you remember the two that we focused on? Should and, and would. Okay, that's right. Should and would. Okay. Now, when you give a recommendation, which one do you use? Well, we use well should. In your opinion? When it's my opinion, I, yeah, I should. Opinion would. would, would. Mm. In opinion, my opinion would. Okay. Suggestion should. Okay, I hear many different answers, but I share with you so that it's clear, so that we don't have any confusion of which one is the appropriate one. Okay. Let's see. So, to give the opinion, what are we going to use? Would. That's right, would. This is to give your opinion in present. To give your opinion in past, we're going to use would have. Okay, so in present, your opinion is would. Okay, and in the past, your opinion is would have. Suggestion, okay, or recommendation. Sometimes they say suggestion or recommendation is should in present or should have in past. It's very important that we are clear. The have indicates the past tense, okay? That is the function of the past. The past is to tell us, okay? The have is to tell us that it's in the past. So we're gonna start off by reviewing a little bit and making sure it's clear, uh, trying to do, you know, we have different situations, okay? so. Okay, how are we going to make the questions? Well, it's pretty easy. Well, we're going to use the questions, like I'm going to create the structure in the chat so that it's clear. Okay. We say, what would you do? That's one way. If you are asking for the person to tell you, okay, then we use, what should I do? Okay. So it can be any situation you want, anything, any conversation, anything that you want. For example, I want to learn to play the piano. I want to, I think Arturo plays the, the guitar, right Arturo? The not, bass. Not really, <laughs> not really. <laughs> not really, not really. I thought you played the I thought you played the guitar. I almost forgot. I don't even <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, I want to learn to play the guitar. And that's it. And then I ask my partner, what should I do? Or I can ask, what would you do? Okay. I want to um I want to find uh, a new job. I want a new position. What should I do? Okay. Anything that you want, you give your statement, you give the situation, and then you ask your partner one of the two questions. What are the two questions? What would you do or what should I do? These are the two questions. Depend the partner's question, depends your answer. If your partner says, what would you do? Your partner is going to answer, I would, ta 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 ta. If the partner asks, what should I do? Your partner is going to answer, you should, ta 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 ta. Okay? So remember, it's you should, 
and I would for the answers. That's for the answers. Ta-ta-ta-ta is in English or? Ta-ta-ta-ta is in English. Yeah. Okay, teacher. All right. So are we ready to practice? Yes. Yeah, we're ready. Okay. Okay. Let's practice. Remember, situation and then the question. Okay. We're going to try to make the exercise. If you want to start, first is the situation and then is the answer. Okay. Um, what do what would you do? Um, the uh, close um and cut close I don't hear you the last two words uh, what would you do uh low low I'll cut. Those are cut. Um, I I really don't don't understand <laughs> the the last two words. What will you do? Close. L O S P. Close. Lose. Olga, is that the word that you are saying? Um, L. L O S E. Yes, perder. Uh -huh. Perder. Perder. Yeah. Lose. Okay. Lose. Cat. Mm -hmm. A cat. Yes. Uh, a cat. A cat what or a dog, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Think. Okay. So let me help you with. Okay. So make. Okay. Okay, Olga, make the question. How would you, how, how would be the question? How, okay, is what mm -hmm. would you do mm -hmm. to love a um, cat or dog? Okay, okay. Give me one second. Your idea is very good. Only a few words you need to add. Okay, look in the chat. Huh? This is the cor this is the correct way. What would you do if you lost a cat or dog? Okay, if. Mm -hmm. If. That if is going to be similar to the Spanish for the yes, right? So if, and then the situation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Now, Bessie can answer. Good. Okay. I work from home. Ah, and, okay. and, and I, I don't got to, to, to get out. But if I would to go out, um, I, I try to, to protect me a lot and, and take all the recommendations. Right? Oh, okay. Uh, and teacher, I, I have a question. Yep. Uh, they ask, uh, for example, Arturo, uh, give me a, a question. What would you do travel? And how I answer? And I begin, uh, I will have or how? Okay. W one more time. What was the... Make, say the question, Arturo. Okay. Uh, 
what will you do if you got to travel another country? Okay. So mm -hmm. then you begin with your ideas. What do you do if you have the, uh, if you can travel to another country? Okay. Yeah. And you begin. I would. So, I so. would. Exactly. Oh. You begin with your, with your ideas. Now here's where it's very important, Patricia, because all of those answers are correct. It's only your decision. You can say, I would, I could, I may, okay? All of those are possible because they have different levels of idea. I would is the decision you make. I could is the options or the opportunities. Mm -hmm. And the may is like maybe, okay? You are not sure. You are insecure for the answer, but is one of the decisions is I may. Make. Mm -hmm. Is 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 okay. Uh, say I will have prepare my bag. I would. No, it's not okay because his question is not in the past. His, oh, okay. Because his question is in the present, but. If his question is in the past, then yes. Okay. But because his question is in the present, is not correct to answer for the past. It is it's only I will prepare, prepare my bag. Correct. I would prepare my okay. bag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. So if we got to use, uh, what would you have? Do, uh, the question will be, what would you have doing? No. What would you have done? Because it's done, the past. Done, done. Past, past, past. past. Mm -hmm. what, would you, what would you have done when you traveled last year, for, for example? Mm, kind of okay so the idea is you give a first you give the situation okay, okay. so whatever or uh, you give what is the topic right so um uh, i was invited on a trip um okay. okay or i i took uh classes at the university okay or i was offered a uh, a vacation with my you know with my brother or my sister whatever you want whatever situation you want but you are not asking for future plans you are giving situations in the past and then you are this is how but you are asking patricia because you are asking patricia what she would do in that situation in the past or what she would have recommended in that situation in the past but for patricia to answer you you need to have the situation in the past. If, okay. you, if you put the situation in the present, then Patricia cannot use have, only can use I would, I could, and I may. So if you say, eh, um, I don't know, I, I am going, I am going to uh, change jobs, okay? I'm going to look for a new job. What should I do? Okay, because this is the future. It's impossible for Patricia to say you should have because you are planning for the future. But if you say, okay. I didn't visit my mother last year for Christmas. <gasps> oh, what would you have done? Ah, and then it's okay because you have the situation in the past and Patricia can answer in the past. So okay. it's okay. It's okay to practice the present, but it's, it's, so it's clear. If the question or the idea is in present or future, you cannot use have. If okay. the situation is in the past, then it's necessary to use have. Okay, that's clear. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, I try to repeat the question. Why could you do to learning to ride a bike a uh, motorcycle why okay why uh, i mm -hmm. i should i should i what? should have to 
went uh, to class or you okay. bought uh, the, a motorcycle? Ah, okay. But the, uh, the answer I think you choose when you, you when you talk to me, you say you choose to. Yes. Ah, okay. You choose to. Okay, to go to a, a class uh, for for learning a ride a motorcycle. Okay. Yes. And yes, I think when you speak, when you explaining in, in Spanish, but okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Let me let me help you a little bit. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Your your ideas and both of you are correct, but there's a difference because Camila can give you her opinion and her recommendations, but if you give Camila the situation in the present, Camila can only give you the situation or the opinion in the present. So if you say, I, for example, I, I want to learn a new bicycle. I want to learn to ride a, a motorcycle. And you ask her, what should I do? Okay, Camila can only answer, you should, or you, you could, or you may, but only can answer in the present because your situation's in the present, okay? okay. But if you put the situation in the past, then she can answer in the past. So if you say, I bought a motorcycle, okay? Uh, I bought in the past, I bought a motorcycle, but I don't know how to drive. Then you Why ask Camila, what would you have done? Or what, or what, should, what should I have done? Uh, then Camila says, ah, I would have uh, learned first, or you should have taken classes. So. The, the verb is in, in past, past. Exactly, past part as well. So the structure is correct. The structure is correct and the answer is correct. But understand that you are not giving the opinion when you ask in present, then Camila is not giving you the opinion for what to do in the past. She's giving the comment what to do in the present. Teacher, the answer, only the answer is only present. But I con I confuse uh, when uh, I ask uh, when you would you do uh, for example what would you do for uh, speak English? The answer is I should I uh, watch the movie in English. Okay, almost the okay. What would you do to learn English? This is the question. Mm -hmm. Correct, Camila. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. what, what should you do to learn English? Okay, then you answer with you should because what, uh, if, if Cesar says, what would, what would you do to learn English? You answer, I would, okay? Mm -hmm. So if Cesar says, Camila, what would you do to learn English? You say for you, I would in all of the activities in the present because his question is in the present. Mm -hmm. okay. But you would or should when I yes. ask a three person or only different? No, no, you can ask, you can use different, you can use different, you, but it's common, the would or the should. Because mm -hmm. normally you say, I would, and normally you say, you should. Okay. But you can change for others. You can change for, you could. Okay, you can change mm -hmm. for, you might or I may, mm -hmm. but the most common ones that you use is, okay, I would and you should. Okay. okay. But when it's opinion is good, when the suggestion is should. Yeah. Correct, yes, yeah. right. that is correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, another example, I, the, I think is the, only way to do is example and correct and error, and error. Uh, okay. But for example, talk about in past, okay. Um, the, the example of motorcycle is very clear because you say I bought a motorcycle, what should you do to, to learn to ride? Mm -hmm. or, but you talk about the past, okay? Mm -hmm. For me, it's a good tips. But uh -huh. when I, I try to do a question with this, for example, uh, because only have the the W question with only for talk about 
or question about where uh, or okay but i try mm -hmm. i try to, to to do the models because for me only the question are what why which where uh, ah okay okay I think I, to, to add the models okay mm -hmm. think think of it in this situation you add the models because you are not asking um you are not asking information you are asking opinions or recommendation when you want when you want data when you want uh, uh, numbers or information then is the wh but when you want opinions then is this you use would or could okay, okay? so uh, i i don't know i i i bought a car okay i bought a car online but i didn't inspect it mm. then you can ask camila what would you do or what should i do and camila can answer you but if you say because this action happened in the past but if you, but if you say i'm uh i'm going to buy a car or uh or you or if you say camila you you buy a car okay what what should i do is not correct because you give you need to give her the the situation for her to give you the opinion mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. okay, okay. Uh, let's try one example go ahead try let's try one to make sure it's clear okay uh, for example um, i I have a, a computer uh, what I will do for learning to programming something like that no. no because your answer all of it is for in the present is not in the past uh, yeah, yeah. you yeah. have the you have the computer in the present you don't know how to program but you want to learn for the future okay. Camila can answer but she cannot use have Okay. Mm -hmm. and, okay. And I, I try to another with with models. And for example, I look the first day class. For example, the structure for the question is a W H. For example. Uh, Okay, Cesar, to make it easier, think, think like this. First, think of the situation in the past. Okay. And then ask the question. Okay. I think, for example, in the past, I have um, something, for example, when I, I try to, for example, I... I bought a, a cell phone and uh, no, uh, uh, give me a second, teacher, because I yeah, no, no problem, no problem. You and uh, you and Camila take a moment. I check in the other group. So, you think, okay. teacher? Maybe, yes, yes. Maybe for example, um, uh, uh, my camera broken last, yesterday. Um, exactly. What, what should I? What should I do? For for the, for this or for buy the new camera. Let me put in the chat. I think maybe I I, I used your example. I, I I broke. Correct. You said Camila. Mm -hmm. I broke. Okay. Yes, I broke. I broke my camera. Okay. 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 Wait. Wait. Let me put here. Okay. So I broke my camera yesterday. Okay. Mm -hmm. The question. Okay. What should I? Um, okay, this is the correct. Oops, sorry. The the should should have a D. Um, okay. What I put again? What should I have done? Okay. Now, if Camila, your question says, "What should I do?" I have. You when you said. Okay. Now here's where it's difficult. This is the most difficult part of the English because the two forms are correct. 
is mm -hmm. not wrong. The two forms, yes, are correct. Yes, the two forms you can use. Yes, they are in the same situation. The difference is if Camila is asking what did yesterday or what do now or tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So if Camila says, what should I have done? Is she's asking for the opinion for yesterday. If Camila says, what should I do? Is she is asking for the opinion for now or in the future? Mm. Like the next step. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the correct answer is uh, you should uh, maybe. Okay, no. Uh, no, no, you, I, I, okay. You should have. You, okay. You for should. the first one. The first, for the first question, what should I have done? You should have, so, so. Okay. okay. For the second question, what should I do? Then only is necessary, you should, and then you continue. Okay. Okay? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. Uh, enough people to speak English, right? It, yeah, basically, it, it, it's not easy because... When, when I was well, learning English like four years ago, they always uh, suggest us that you should understand that, you should practice that, you should something, because if I would have the opportunity as you, I would do that one, for example. But th the thing is that if we are trying to prove ourselves, I think that we can reach that kind of goals in for El Salvador because right now I, I think that the, the people is, is just learning English just to I don't know just to just get a job but they are not like studying for for something different to understand something that in another country they make or they do yeah yeah, 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 it, it, it's uh, another another the uh, uh, problem is that all the people uh, want to get a uh, 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 high degree, right? But uh, it's necessary yeah. to to develop the, te the technical career, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Even in my career, I'm in accounting, so. Uh, basically, we have to do a register in the GL, but the thing that we are a, a company that is not working just in one. Uh, wait, wait. <laughs> and Olga, will... Bessie, are you okay? Any questions? Yes, yes, teacher, we are okay. We are trying to to make the sentence with uh, what will you do and trying to answer like I should do. Uh, that, let me, okay, let me help you. Is that correct? No, 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 okay. Why should yeah, yes, I yes, do? I mean, yeah, I mean, yes, your, your, your question is correct, but not for, not, not, not all. Not all, yes, exactly, not 100%. okay. <laughs> okay, so here, as an example, um, I broke my camera yesterday. Mm -hmm. there, are, there are two forms to ask the question. The first form is what should I have done? And the second form is what you said in this moment, Bessie, is mm -hmm. that what should I do? Okay. I? Now the two forms are correct. Uh, the, it's not that one is bad or one is, is wrong. Is The idea is that the difference is what should I have done is the question is what is your opinion for yesterday? What should I do is what your opinion is for now in the next step or the next process. So depend your question is going to depend the answer that Olga says. So as an example, I broke my camera yesterday. What should I have done? Ah, then Olga is going to answer because the question is have, she's going to answer for the past, you should have so, so, so. Now, if you say, what should I do? The, the meaning is now or tomorrow. And Olga is going to answer 
you should in a different situation. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the two questions are correct and the two answers are correct. The difference is when you use have is because the activity or the recommendation is for the past situations. If you do not use have, is for the recommendations now or the next process. Can you give us another example, teacher? Yes, no problem. Okay. Let me just connect the computer because I saw that I need battery. <laughs> okay. And then one moment. If I don't connect, then maybe I have a problem. There. Okay. So let me put another example in the chat. Okay. Um, okay, I lost my passport last week. Okay. Okay, I lost my passport. If you ask the question, what should I have done? You are asking for last week. What was necessary I do last week? Mm -hmm. If you ask the question, what should I do? Is because in this moment, you haven't the solution and you are asking for now, what to do now or in the future. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And so if, if you ask Olga, what should I have done? Olga is going to answer, you should have. If you ask Olga, what should I do? Olga is going to answer, you should, no have. Mm -hmm. Okay. The two forms are correct. The difference is if you are asking for the recommendation for in the past, or you are asking for the recommendation or opinion for the present or future. Does that make sense, Bessie, or do you want a different example? If we, if we have time for another example. Okay, okay. Imagine, you're, uh, Bessie, do you have a boyfriend? Uh, well, <laughs> I have a boyfriend. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yes, that, that's a, that's a like, hmm, maybe, that's, maybe, 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 maybe yes. okay, okay. Maybe if you feel <laughs> my perfect. Okay. Good, okay. good, good question, teacher. <laughs> mm, you're not sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you tell uh, Olga your situation. Okay. Now, this is when you are asking for now, your opinion to do now. Uh, okay. So when you ask for what you are talking to Olga and normally this happened yesterday and you are asking Olga today, what should I do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because Olga is going to give you the recommendation for to do mm -hmm. now or to do tomorrow, right? Or in the future. But if you say my boyfriend cheated on me, last year or my boyfriend cheated on me the same my boyfriend cheated on me what should i have done okay uh hang on what should i do mm -hmm. if you ask the second question what should i have done then olga is going to answer you should have okay mm -hmm. Okay. Does that make sense, Bessie? Yes, it's better with that example. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> excellent, excellent example. <laughs> complex, complex. Yes. Mm -hmm. or, or think about it like at work. At work, imagine at work, your boss invite you for a drink, invite you for dinner. Mm -hmm. Okay, he invite you and he and you said no. Okay, but then you want to know what Olga does. You want to know 
what Olga do, does in this situation. So you say, Olga, what would you have done? You're asking for Olga's opinion in that okay. situation in the past. But mm -hmm. if, if you say, um, my, my boss invited me for a drink, what should I do? Ah, you're asking Olga because you are not decided you don't you don't know to go for the drink or not to go for the drink or the dinner but if you already made the decision only you want to know the opinion of other people what they do okay 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 all right good good example okay. hey Eugenia hi teacher good evening sorry for being late no problem, Mel. Okay. It's good. It's good you're here. Okay. Now, we were looking at these different types of questions and situations. Uh, just to be clear, the two forms are correct. It's not that it's incorrect. The two forms are correct. The difference is if you are talking about your opinion and recommendation now, or if you're talking about, you are want to know what how the person does in the past. Okay. Is so-so? Yeah. Okay, so let me give you an example. Me, I am married, okay? And I have three children, two boys and one girl, okay? I am walking in the street with my family, two, 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 two. okay? And one, uh, a, a pickup, a pickup of, uh, of workers, a pickup of workers go in front of me and, they, and all of them, uh, they whistle, they go, they go, okay? Now that is the situation. I want to know what you do. Ah, so now I ask the correct question is, what would you have done? Because the situation is in the past. It's not possible for me to return to the pickup with the men, okay? I can tell you what I did, but I want to know what you do in that situation. So I ask, what would you have done? Hmm? One moment, let me put... Okay, or, okay, I ask for you to tell me what should I have done? In the two is what would you have done is what you, what are your actions? And what should I have done is your opinion for what I need to do in that situation in the past. But the two answers the two answers because the questions use have, excuse me, the two questions use have, the two answers use have. In the first question, what would you have done? The correct way to answer is, I would have, and then your actions. In the second question, what should I have done? The correct is the same form. You should have, and then the actions, okay? If you ask the question, what would you do, or what should I do? This is not in the past. This is for in the future. But the situation is not possible. It's only, it's not possible in the future because the situation already passed and is not going to repeat. Does that help you a little bit more? Because I know there was a little confusion. And like I mentioned to one or to one or two groups is, yes, your question is correct. Yes, your answer is correct. But the difference is if you recommend now or in the past. Romulo? But is uh, the person is stay with you, mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 uh, the, uh, the question is, uh, isn't present, right? No, no, no. Depend the, depend the situation. For in, in that moment, yes. Yes, in that moment, yeah. Yes, that is correct. For example, when, when, when you walk with your family, I, I, I was with you. Exactly. Then I say, hey, 
what, and I, I look at you and I say, Romulo, oh, yeah. what would you do? Okay. Or I ask, I say, Romulo, what should I do? Mm -hmm. and, the, and the answer is, you should have to talk. No, no, no. Something. No, you no, should no, have, no. No, for Romulo's question, no. For Romulo is, what should I do? You should, and the action. Or okay. what, what would you do? Uh, I would, and the action. But if Romulo is not with me, we are the next day, we are at the bar. And I, say, and I explain to Romulo what is the situation. Ah, then Romulo is telling me his opinion for yesterday. I would have, or you should have, because he's telling me he is thinking about yesterday, not about in this moment, that, because he is not with me. Okay, it's a, a, bit, a bit confused, but it, the explanation is very clear. Okay. Uh, Okay, let's try, let's try, okay, let's try one example, Cesar, to make sure it's clear. Okay, uh, Cesar, let, let's see, Arturo, Arturo did not have water in his house today. In the morning, Arturo did not have water, okay? He didn't take a shower. Okay, what would you have done? I will have uh, I will have to look or find uh, water in in another place. Almost correct, Cesar. Your oh. your idea is very good, very good. But remember that the grammatical structure is I would have. Okay, I would have look. Look. found oh. or exactly oh. yes or the the same. I would have looked okay looked for mm -hmm. the two forms are the two are, your, that's why i say your idea is correct but the grammar is only permitted past participle only is permitted past participle mm -hmm. another suggestion or opinion for arturo i should have maybe what okay now no now know what would you have done? Now, what should he have done? What should he have done? The structure is the same, only we put the person. So anybody can help. How do we help? I should have called the people chevere. Okay, almost, almost, okay. Art, for Arturo, <laughs> remember for Arturo, what should he have done, not oh, you. Yeah. What should he have done? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Art Arturo mm -hmm. should have called the people. Chair. Is correct? It is correct. That is correct because now you are giving what he needed to do in the past. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, a question. Uh, so, should and would we can use uh, that for a uh, third person? Yes. He, she, okay, but and he not, not, but not, not got to change has or how. No, no. Uh, you don't change for have or has. Is correct. Okay. Always is have or has. But normally, he should have. He, he would have. Is different the meaning, but. Yes, you can use for the third person in both situations. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I know it's a little difficult, but the important is that we, we understand that, yes, the two forms are correct, but the difference is if you say, um, what should I do? is in this moment, Arturo didn't take a shower. And in this moment, Arturo need a recommendation. He says, what should I do? Ah, so your recommendation is for Arturo to do today or for Arturo to do maybe tomorrow. Ah, you, because then I say, Arturo, you should look for water, okay? Or I would look for water, but this is now, this is now. In the morning, 
in the morning, I don't look for water in the morning, I would have, uh, I would have, I don't know, use the, the, the sink, I would have used the bucket, okay, whatever you want. But this is what you do in the past, different than what you recommend now. Does that help everyone a little bit better? <laughs> yes, thanks, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. So I give you, I don't know, uh, maybe many of you experiment the same in the pandemic. I, I didn't cut my hair for a long time. In, I didn't cut my hair for four months. In March, April, May, June, I didn't cut my hair for four months. I let it grow, okay, because I was scared. I was scared of the pandemic. I was scared of the virus. Here is when I ask, what would you have done? What should I have done for in the past? And your recommendation is for the situation that happened in the past. If I say, what should I do? is you understand that in this moment, continue not to cut my hair. If I say, what should I do? Or what would you do? Do you understand that in this moment, continue not to cut my hair? And I think for what to do next. Is that a little bit better? Yes, sir. So the answer will be, uh, I will have tried uh, a, a, a machine. Yes. Yeah. I would have tried a, 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 a using. Uh huh. Yes. I or I will have tried. Yeah. Okay. Or I would have bought a machine. Or I would have what, whatever. Okay. Use scissors. What, whatever you have. But the structure is the same. I would have for you. Okay. If you give to me, you say you should have. Remember, for you is I would have, and your opinion to me is you should have. Okay. Okay? Okay, guys. And all right, before we finish, just to make sure, how is everybody in the platform? Everybody's in unit five, lesson five? Any questions or do you have any problems? Are you behind? How the final exam is, is very easy. Ha! That's excellent, excellent, very easy. Hmm. Very easy, the zero. No. <laughs> I think that too. It, it really, it's pretty, pretty easy, but with uh, exercise in the in the part three uh, to the rewrite the sentence. Ah, uh, yeah. Always the the unscramble and rewrite is is the more difficult one. For to make yeah. sure you have to pay attention. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, with, uh, for me, I, I finished the platform today and. Great. Today. That's yeah. great, Cesar. Did you get your diploma? Yeah, I, I have the option to print or to yes. send. In, in you can, if you finish, you, can, you have the option to receive your diploma first mm -hmm. before yeah. the finish. And we are finished this week. Or maybe. On Thursday. On Thursday, we finish. Okay. Oh, my God. In two days. That's why it's important that work in the platform. Work in the platform. Only two days. Only two days. Okay? And maybe practice all this week with this, this topic about past models. Um, more or less, but only two more classes. <laughs> But I like the idea. All week is is sound psychologically it sounds good like a long time, but only two more classes, Cesar. <laughs> I look for more examples. So okay. the examples are the are the the truth for the the for the explanation for me. Okay. Yes, yes, I yes. Look for more examples. And okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. No, 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 no problem, Cesar. It's good. We try with more examples. Tomorrow we're going to practice because we need, tomorrow is the idea for review, but the idea was to review all of the lessons, lesson one, 
two, three, four, five, to maybe the vocabulary, maybe the grammar is not clear or only to review, to, to help you make sure before you continue. Okay. All right, guys. In that case, have a great night and I see you tomorrow. Okay, teacher. All right. Hey. Good night. Bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.